this was not how it was meant to be. When Hong Kong was returned to China, Beijing agreed that it will not change Hong Kong's legal or judicial systems for 50 years. China also promised that Hong Kong will retain its autonomy till then. This was in the year 1997. 23 years on, China has broken that promise. And it has not happened overnight. Over the years, China has slowly hijacked the city's constitution, killed democracy and free speech, one blow at a time. Our next report tells you the story of Hong Kong. The story begins in 1984. British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and then Chinese Premier Zhao Ziyang signed the Sino-British Agreement. They agree that China will reassume control over Hong Kong from July 1997. But China's basic policies regarding Hong Kong will remain unchanged for 50 years. The city will retain a high degree of autonomy. And its legal and judicial system would also be unchanged for 50 years after 1997. With these terms, Hong Kong's fate is sealed. Cut to July 1st, 1997. The transfer of sovereignty. The Union Jack is lowered over Hong Kong after over 150 years. Hong Kong becomes a special administrative region with its own mini constitution, legal system and democratic rights. There is free speech and the freedom of assembly. Former Chinese President Jiang Zemin looks on as Hong Kong's special administration flag is raised. <laughs> Beijing is already plotting against Hong Kong's autonomy. But neither Tony Blair nor Prince Charles have a clue. July 1st, 2007. China shows the world who pulls the strings in Hong Kong. The city's chief executive, Donald Tsang, is sworn in at a ceremony marking the 10th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to China. Presiding over the ceremony is then Chinese President Hu Jintao. The threat to Hong Kong's autonomy beams on television screens worldwide. Hong Kongers decide to rise against the dragon. 2009 sees the largest turnout at Hong Kong's annual Tiananmen Square Vigil. The city turns into a speckled sea of flickering lights. Sending tanks is not an option here. So in 2014, China hits at the very pillar of Hong Kong's democracy. Beijing announces that only leaders wetted by China would rule Hong Kong. This triggers the Occupy movement. Arrests, tear gas attacks follow. In 2016, China targets free speech in Hong Kong. Five booksellers, including a British and Swedish national, disappear. They were linked to a publisher who specialized in books on the CCP. Protesters come back to the streets. Twenty seventeen. Carrie Lam is sworn in as the new leader of Hong Kong. A target is Hong Kong's legal protection. Third April 2019, a law to allow extradition to the mainland is tabled. This gives rise to a pro-democracy movement. One that echoes the voices of Tiananmen Square. The world watches closely as China uses every option to quell the movement. First of July 2019. 
protesters attack Hong Kong's Legislative Council. They break the ceiling of delusional democracy. First of July 2020. The day will mark 23 years since Hong Kong was handed back to China. And 23 years of Chinese oppression. As China sets up a security office in Hong Kong, the city's promised autonomy is snatched away from it 27 years too early. Bureau Report, Vion World is One.